Hey crafters, it's me Jen Evers with Koala Tea Crafts. Welcome to another 1 in 10 by Jen from Mailbox to Masterpiece. What does that mean? Are you are you new here? Click that subscribe button. Follow this fun series. They're 10 minute videos. You can just cram them all, bunch of them all into one day or one week while we're all safe at home. And um, I'm going to get started. It just means that there are people out there that have scraps left over, don't know what to do with them, so they send them to me in an envelope. So Kathy Godwin... Hello, Kathy. Thank you so much for sending your stuff in this week. Um, I'm going to make your card. So I made a standard A2, four and a quarter by five and a half card. And we're going to pull out and see just what Kathy has sent us today. Anything left over that I don't use, don't need to send much, trust me. Um, we'll go into our owl box for the end of the year, crap, uh, crop in the new year for four hours. And I use that to create cards and stuff at the end of the year. It's super fun. So if you haven't participated in one, you have something to look forward to. Um, I have 10 minutes, so let me just turn this. There we go. Turn that back on. And we're just going to take a look real quick at, at the stuff that she sent. She actually has like a little card base here with some stamping that she did. It uh, looks like ink, direct ink to paper. Some other really cool papers in here. Some browns, pinks, purples. This is super cool. All right, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I have 10 minutes. Let's get started. Usually what I do, and um, if you watch me for a long time, you're like, yeah, yeah. I usually get something started out right on the base. So I'm going to use this brown as my base. Perfect. Let's pop that down first. So we've got a background to work on. Love that paper. It's really cool. All right, then I'm going to decide, like, oh gosh, that's cute. I love, love this teal. It's on the other side of that, too. <laughs> but I really like these colors. So maybe I want both in there. Oh, yeah, totally want both. And then there's this really cool purple. Oh my goodness, that is cool. We're going to have to add that brown back in somewhere as well. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this into a rectangle first. And I have extra scraps here. What's on the back of this one? Nope, I really like that purple. We're going to keep that one up. So this one, yes, yes, we love that. That is going on. So cool. This one, we're going to have a little bit left over crawling across the edge. We'll cut that off. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, where are my big scissors? There they are. Have a seat, Jen. Otherwise, all you see is my chest the whole time, right? <laughs> That's no fun. Hope you guys are enjoying your time safe at home instead of dreading it. I just think it's, oh gosh, we can make it go this way too. That is so cool. I really like the way that looks now. So maybe I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to skip the red. I don't really like the red with pink. But this has a lot of promise because it looks very similar in color Ooh, look at this one look at that oh my gosh okay i want to put some of the same stuff inside there's a piece you know what and i kind of thought maybe it would go that way but we're just gonna go this way let's do the brown first i'm gonna put the brown across the whole piece and trim it off and then I'm going to put the other one on top. Because that way it won't look so strange that this part isn't quite as long. It just looks like an accent. Which is really what it is, right? When we do this on the inside, we're just making a little accent that matches and makes it look really cool. Okay, we've got brown left in this one and this one. I have to decide what I want to do here. I want, I think I'm going to put a little bit more brown on the top and create a sentiment for that. 
that's going to look really cool. I need some white paper here. I think I'm just going to have to take a new sheet and cut some off because I'm not finding any white. So what I want to do is I want to put my, yeah. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down, then I'm going to cut it smaller, but I'm going to make some lines on here with my score tool here, bone folder, so that I can see where I want to cut that. That will help me a lot. So I just want it a little bit smaller than that. And a little off the other side. I'm sorry you guys can't see me cut in frame. Whoa. That, that works, but I think I want a little bit less, well, no, I'm going to cut off just a tiny bit more. I'm not happy with that, so I'm just going to cut off a little tiny bit more. Cool. All right, and then because we have some of this left over and it would look really cute down here, I'm going to cut some little flowers out of this. I never know what I'm going to get, so I kind of have to go around my room and like um, pick some, you know, find some things to use once in a while. So I think we're going to get two really nice flowers out of that. And. I can find a little hole punch that will help me out. This one. Yeah, so we can get a little pink center in there from this page that I haven't used. That'll be the centers. So let's go ahead and I'm going to stamp the sentiment here first so that if I don't like it, I can replace it. But for right now, I'm going to put these pink centers on my flowers because I know that's what I want. Oops, how did I not get pink on that one? Oh, it was way off the edge. Okay, let's do it from the other end. There we go. Pink it is. There we go. Awesome. I'm gonna pop this up too, since we can. That's where that one's gonna go. Right in the middle here. Cute. All right, let's see. Sentiment. And it can only be that big. I've gotta find something that's gonna fit in there. Make a wish. Uh, these are a little bit too long. What about thinking of you? That is a good one for this time of this time of trial. <laughs> this time of awesomeness of being able to stay at home. I'm loving it. Love, love, loving it. Okay, where's my black ink? Because I need to make a stamp here. Okay. Thinking of you. Boink. Ta -da. Love it. Turned out awesome. That's going to go up here. And you know what? I could go around this in a pink. I don't think I'm going to, though. I'm going to leave it white. Sometimes white space is our friend. So I'm going to leave it that way. This looks so cool. All right. And then these. Here's my little tool here. I know people don't think that's think that's gross, but that kind of puts a little bit of oil on the ball so that you can roll it if you have an oily oily nose. Uh-oh. I scraped that one up because it wasn't quite dry. We'll just pat her back down. Okay, and then these are going to go down here. Oh, so cute. Okay. <laughs> I think that I'm going to want to put... 
maybe one up one down no because then it's going to blend in with that teal color at the top but these need a gem these definitely need a gem <clears throat> so they really pop out so hopefully i have enough time in this minute here to get a gem i'm thinking oh my gosh wouldn't these be beautiful on there oh, these big it's gonna be hard to, to ship but these silver gems look so pretty. Oh yeah, totally. I wish I had a really strong silver marker pen that would really literally make silver. I'm thinking I, I don't think I do. I mean, I have one, but it, if this globs out, then I'm stuck with a mess and I can't fix it. Maybe I should just leave it. You know what, though? I can put a little bit of um, the clear one <clears throat> and just glitz up the petals while I still have a little bit of time here. Oh, that looks really pretty. These might, this might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but it's going to pick up in person and add a little bit of dimension. It's going to look so cool. Ooh. We are out of time. Alrighty. How cute is that? I love the colors you sent, Kathy. Thank you so much for sending them in. So cute. You know what I just realized? I have enough to do one more one more flower so if you guys don't mind I am going to just add one of the flowers to the inside because I can to make this really stand out here but I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do the silver inside because I don't want it to dent up your card on in transit so I think I'm just gonna rip a little piece off of here so I can make sure I get that that pink center and I'm just going to add that real quick artist liberty I hope you guys don't mind every once in a while I like to do that like something pops into my mind oh yeah that would look so cool it only took a second but how cute is that on the inside oh my gosh this is so much fun you guys you had you know you don't have anything else to do or you're like I don't know what to do grab whatever scraps you have laying next to you set yourself a timer and just let her rip. Just pull out from the scraps that you have and do whatever comes to your mind. It's a blast. It truly is. <clears throat> I can't remember what number we're on. Number, what is this? Number 130, 131? Well, I don't remember. <laughs> so if you really want to join in on this, go down in the description box, find our Facebook group. No drama, no commitment. We would love to have you. And if you don't mind stopping over at koalatycrafts.com, you can see everything that we carry as far as crafting supplies and all that goes. And if you want to support the community, join us on patreon.com backslash koalatycrafts. These are going to go into the owl box for the crop in the new year at the end of the year. That's where these go in case you were wondering. And this is going to go back out to Kathy Godwin. So thank you so much again for sending in your scraps, Kathy. And I can't wait to see more of the things that you have coming in so that I can send you a handmade card. And I can't wait to see you guys next video.